maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe there's something in error or flaw in my thinking process. So please help me. Would you pay for a therapist? Will you show me how to get free uh, treatment or low cost? Or... Because I could be in error. My thinking is seriously offline. And my insanity is what is causing me to have unnecessary problems in my life. But I would like to express for me when a person does something to help me I have to show that I am grateful. I have to show that I appreciate what you've done for me. I will try to uh, give you some money back if possible. I will wash your car. I will take your dog for a walk. I will vacuum your floor, cut your grass. I want to show you, I want to show a person that I am so grateful, especially when you try to help me or you have helped me when I really, really was low. Do I need therapy? Am I wrong in wanting to show a person who have helped me at my lowest or at any time show appreciation and being grateful for your aid. <clears throat> and even if things turn sort of bad for me, I don't know about you. I find it I find it difficult to want to hurt somebody who was there for me at my lowest somebody that tried to help me it would take a whole I mean something very very extreme for me to turn and stab in the back somebody who went out their way to help me now I could be wrong. If I'm in error, please show me how I am in error. So it is 2018, I believe, February, somewhere around. And again, I do not want to be redundant. We know a lot of this story. And I find this lady in bad shape. And I did like her, and I wanted to help her. I did like her, but just as a human being, and I was in the position to help, why not help another human being when they are down on their luck? Somebody helped me when I was down on my luck as an adult, and they helped me when I was a little boy and didn't ask me for nothing. So I'm reaching out to this lady. I don't want nothing in return. I don't want nothing. I'm just, I just want to help you, one human being to another. So she was suffering financially. And she had just lost her mother. And money was just a little bit of the problem. Mentally 
or spiritually, you may say, she was going through severe drama. So we talked, and clearly there was nobody else on the scene who she could reach out and talk to, her sister. She was not talking to her pastor. She was not talking to her sister. She was not talking to nobody that I know of. She began to talk with me. And I became a comforter. I became somebody whose shoulders she could lean upon that not only offered financial support, but a listening ear. So I'm here listening for hours. Hours and hours about the problems on her job. She's in mourning and in grievance over the loss of her mother. I'm listening to this for hours and hours and hours. And then she turns to talk about she's a failure in life. I'm listening to all this negativity. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychiatrist. And then she even was telling me that she, she said she wasn't going to do it, but she did make reference with thoughts of suicide. It was a terrible, a terrible, terrible time. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a therapist. I really don't know what to do. But just be a listening ear and try to bring words of encouragement. And I do know that financially, a lot of that stress and a lot of that burden would leave. But no money can take the place of your mother, somebody of whom you truly, really love. And there's no money that can stop the harassment or the bullying that one may feel on a job that you really, really, you need this, this, this job. So I was there to listen. I'm, I'm doing the best I can to give the best advice and try to help as a friend. I did like her, but I need to be there for her as a friend. She does not need a lover. She needs a friend. She does not need somebody lusting for her underwear. She needs a friend. And that's all I could be was a friend. And as we begin to heal, as we begin to try to uh, become more well, it was me. Because I know she likes to write. Why don't you finish that? book and we named that book God is on trial why don't you go back to YouTube and do your commentary and start a new YouTube channel so it was Angel Snub Nub 7 that was the encouragement behind God is on trial and we dedicate that book in memory of her mother also I encouraged Angel Snub Nub 7 encouraged her to start Sister Noble channel I knew she would do well I knew she would do well and then during this period of time, we decided to see if we could be romantically involved. During that time, there was certain problems that I began to see that I did not like. 
my family members even wonder why doesn't she come to visit me i drove didn't get on a plane i drove at least three maybe four times i think it was three to come see her but she made no effort even though i'm paying the bill made no effort she's not working as you know she might work two days out of the week or something like that she made no effort to try to come see me that was a sign Nobody wants to feel used. And I told her, I feel as though it's getting to the point where you're, you're using me. And I don't like that. Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, but it seems like you're, you're using me. I don't like, nobody wants to be used. So, because I'm the only one who's giving. You're not making no effort to give back. You're not making no effort to act like you really want this relationship to work. You like the benefits, but you don't want to bring nothing to the table. I had to beg her to help me with Operation Exodus Mississippi with my channel putting up videos promoting my channel she got angry then she decided I, I'm gonna do it the sad thing about it is now she's angry and upset and took the videos down in any video that I mirrored she tried to find to flag see this is some low down dirty stuff this is the reason why it was necessary that we show her. See, she's very slow in the mind. Some may think that she's intelligent and may be intelligent in certain ways, but clearly she's slow in the mind. Because you have to be slow to believe that somebody is going to allow you to take from them and use them and they're supposed to supposed to not say anything they're not supposed to warn others that you are a parasite and you are a leech and you're a taker you're not a giver you're a taker and she betrayed this platform not only me she betrayed the brothers and sisters who helped me help her. They bought her book. They gave her channel views and promoted her channel and her book. We supported her book for one straight month. One straight month. The whole month was dedicated to God is on trial. One straight month. I don't have a hundred thousand subscribers. I don't have fifty thousand subscribers. We did the best we could, and she herself did very little to promote her own product. So the first thing she did to us was she betrayed us to Sonetta TV. Sonetta has a problem with me, and she actually got the video by Porkchop Muhammad so Sanetta could watch that and use that to talk about me. I don't know what she had on her mind. She thought these people was going to be her friends and all that blew up in her face. But the purpose was to go on Sanetta TV and promote the book, not be their friend. But all that excitement and all these people watching you, and you're still getting watched. To this day, you're still getting watched. But it is not the kind of 
promotion. It's not the kind of publicity that anybody would want. It makes you look bad and actually you've done it to yourself because you're looking for instant fame, uh, notoriety, and well, you got it, actually, you do. And so I have the email. She apologized. I didn't even trip off of it. Lesson learned. But then she turned right around and she teamed up with this woman, Karen, and she let this woman, Karen, use the channel that we helped build to bash me. And I took their bashing for three hours until it became redundant. I, I'm, like, I'm out of here. I can't do this no more. Silly stuff. Piggly Wiggly saying the same stuff all over and over again. Like that hurts somebody's feelings. I mean, if you can dish it out and talk about people. Oh, I betrayed you. Ain't nobody betrayed you. You put yourself out, out here. And you talk about people and you talk about men. You should be able to take it. It's simple as that. But the ultimate betrayal. She gets angry and she goes and get pork chop. The ultimate betrayal. So but so pork chop can use the channel that we help build to bring her lies. The ultimate betrayal. And she know how I felt about pork chop. She know. But you so angry and you so mad and upset. You're going to turn on the person that helped you when you was at your lowest. That's that's to me, that's low down and dirty. And you deserve everything that you get that's bad because you brought it on yourself. Because you don't want to take responsibility for the things that you do because you keep messing up because you won't listen to nobody. Accusatory behavior, defensive, won't shut your damn mouth, won't let nobody talk, won't sit back in the cut and listen, and then react after you get the facts, after you get the full commentary. And this behavior, this mindset, has gotten her in serious problems because of her accusatory, defensive, behaviors she has lost good jobs she don't want to admit it but that's the reason why your associations don't last long this is the reason why you have lost good jobs because you are you're making bad decisions and these bad decisions are costing you no matter what she says out of her mouth i had to i'm the one that cut her loose and did not want to date no more. And I barely could be her friend because of this accusatory, nasty, profane. You see how she talks nasty. I don't, I like ladies. I don't like women like this, nasty mouth type. And she already know that. But she was growing and she was developing for a little while there. But like a brother said, it's like she returned back to her vomit. She wants nothing in life. The only thing you want to do is argue and then fight over nothing. And even she said, I should have let her go a long time ago. Because it is her. It is her. And she could make things better if she wasn't so arrogant. How could you backstab and betray people who actually helped you get where you at today? 